Greetings everyone and welcome back to Pocket Hands. Today we will be testing the new special creature. And by new special creature I am referring to the Rosite Skimmer Dragonfly, who I'm going to be referring to as Skimmer for the rest of the video. This of course was part of the currently running Valentine's event. We're going to be pitting it against other special creatures whom we have deemed to be good fighters. It's going to be an elimination situation. I have five battles planned. The first three are going to be against three stars. After that, it's going to get a little bit unfair for the skimmer because we're going to be doing some four star battles. Well, let's put it to this way. Whoever survives the first three battles is going to get destroyed by the four star Halloween pennant. And then the four star Halloween pennant is going to be pitted against the newly four starred Shocking Pink Dragon Millipede to see who is the strongest. But we will find out, in terms of the three stars, where the skimmer actually stands. Now, the way this works is we have to create a situation where the two special creatures can fight each other. And the only way you can do that is basically to set up your defense and then attack yourself. Allow me to demonstrate. And as you can see, I've also set up the first battle. As a matter of fact, let's just go over the attacks right now. We're going to be using the skimmer. Our first opponent is going to be the Emerald Cockroach Wasp. And you can see it's already sitting there in the middle. The next we're going to be taking on the Emperor Scorpion. And then, of course, the Skull Spider, who is the current three-star champion. After that, whoever is the best in that group is going to be taking on the Halloween Pennant, who is now a four-star, of course. And then, of course, that's not going to work out good for whoever is fighting the Halloween Pennant. The Halloween Pennant is then, of course, going to take on the newly four-star Shocking Pink Dragon Millipede. That is really going to be determined who's the tough one. So the way this works is you can see that I have all the creatures, except, of course, for the target creature, are going to be in the uh, Queen's Chamber, along with all of the soldiers which means the only thing that's going to be on the outside walking around is going to be workers. Now, we're going to want to probably try to kill as many of them as possible, but we are on a time limit, so we don't want to waste too much time. So the way it's going to work is we go in, clear it out, and then we get into one of those chambers. I like the top chamber on the right. At that point, I'm going to dismiss my soldiers because they're going to be doing all the killing, of course, and then I'm going to summon the skimmer, and then we're going to hopefully get a good match going. Sometimes this can be a little bit off because the creature decides to go to the bottom. And of course, if you get too close to the queen's chamber, well, everybody comes out. There may be some outtakes for this. But we are set up for the first match. So the one I'm going to do is I'm going to walk through the process entirely the first time. How I end up getting into that chamber. From that point on, we're just going to magically be in that first chamber because you're not going to want to see that again. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to do the attack right now. So this is going to be round number one. All right, so let's get over there. Of course, we don't have to worry about the, um, this fellow here because it only attacks creatures. All right, so if you guys could just kill some of these, that'd be great. Because like I said, we are on a time limit. There is a countdown taking place. We only have a total of three minutes for this, but the matches generally aren't a problem. I just want to get as many of these workers out of the way as possible. All right, and then let's go in. All right, so I think that's going to do, so now I'm going to dismiss. And then what I'm going to do is I am going to summon my skimmer. All right, so let's see here for a second. All right, there we go. There is our opponent. Uh, I need to make myself... In, actually, that's the wrong one, isn't it? There we go. I am invisible now. Hello? Hello, could you guys fight, please? All right, there we go. Okay, right there. There we go. All right, so we're going to watch the health bars and see how the uh, our new friend does against the Emerald Cockroach Wasp. So far, I would say it's not going very well for the skimmer. His health does seem to be going down faster. I will still do the other battles with the skimmer, but so far this is not looking good. 
It is a unique situation because it is two flyers. It's very close, but it really shouldn't be. I guess it really depends. This could just be an awkward opponent. Also, I do believe that the Wasp got in a quick hit there beforehand, but still, it's not looking good because the next two opponents are actually rather difficult. And we have had a pattern where the new creatures were actually stronger. Yeah, if I was looking at it right now, I would say the skimmer is going down. See, I didn't even bother putting in the Orchid um, Mantis in there because I've already taken one out already. Yeah, I think he's going to lose. Yep, he did. Well, that's awkward. All right, well, let's cancel this battle. So here's a question. Are these guys actually going to be in my starting lineup? Interesting. Okay, well, you know what? Like I said, we're going to do the other fights. If for no other reason, we're going to see... It could have been a bad opponent. Maybe there was some kind of a thing that they were both flyers or something. And it did seem like it got some early hits in. I'm going to set up the battle with the Emperor Scorpion. Hopefully this one goes a little bit better for the skimmer. All right, we're all ready for round number two. You can see the Emperor Scorpion is prowling around, probably waiting for his big chance. All right, so let's see if we can just draw him up here. All right, poof, I am invisible. Come over here. Come on, come on, fight. All right, there we go. We got a good look at the health bars here. So let's see how this turns out. All right, it's close. But whoever stands in the end is the winner. It kind of does look a little bit like the Emperor Scorpion is going down faster this time. It could just be a matter of it was a bad matchup against the Wasp. Because it does look like the Skimmer is winning this fight. But you never know. We'll have to watch it to the end. And then, of course, after this, we have the Skull Spider, who has defeated the Emperor Scorpion, so that should be interesting. Yeah, it does seem as if the Skimmer is winning this fight. Maybe the Wasp got a couple of extra hits in there because he was attacking him from behind before the Skimmer turned around. This was a better lockup that they both started attacking each other at the same time. It is close, though, but I do believe that the Skimmer is winning this fight. It looks like it's actually gotten a little closer, but I do think that the skimmer is winning. The battle against the scorpion, the skull spider, should be interesting. Actually, that's very close. Very, very close. It could go either way. Okay, that was really close. Okay, but you know what? The skimmer won that battle. All right, so let's get out. Now, that's interesting because I seem to remember that the Emperor Scorpion easily beat the uh, Wasp, so it could just be the way they match up against each other. Well, I guess we're going to find out what happens in our third round against the uh, Skull Spider. So let me set that up. All right, so we got round three going here, so let's get the Skimmer up, and let's see if we can draw our friend... The Skull Spider, who, by the way, killed me once coming in here. All right, you. Come on, no, 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 come on, come on, get it back up here. Get back up here. Get, get back. Oh, I'm getting too close to that. Come on, come on, come on. No, 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 don't fight that. There we go. There, come on, get in there, get in there. There we go. All right, so let's, this is a good setup. So let's see who wins this one. Now, the Skull Spider is actually the current reigning champion. And I did, this is actually my second attempt because I was killed the first time and somebody won, but there was kind of a disadvantage because it got a couple of hits in there. It was close, so I figured I'm just going to run it again. By the way, I also got killed the second time I came in here immediately because both times 
the skull spider was like waiting right at the entrance, ignored all of the soldiers, and it went right for me. But then again, that's good strategy. Now, in this case, it does seem as if the skimmer is losing. And it was a fair setup. Of course, the skimmer lost in the other match, too, but the skull spider got a couple of hits in before they actually started fighting each other. That's the reason I figured I'll do a redo of it. But, I mean, this was fair. They started off, you know, basically the exact same kind of health. And, uh, yeah, he's just losing. But like I said, the Skull Spider is the current reigning champion. I don't know. Maybe there was an adjustment done to the Wasp to make it a little bit stronger. Maybe I should try the Wasp against the, uh, the Scorpion to see how that works out. It is close. It was very close the first time, but, you know, just by a hair. And as we can see, the Skull Spider is still the champion. And that was a completely fair fight, but it was very, very close. Very close indeed. So those three fights were actually kind of interesting. The Skimmer had a lot of trouble and, of course, lost to the Wasp, managed to defeat the Emperor Scorpion, and lost by a hair to the Skull Spider. Makes me wonder if the uh, wasp was actually boosted or something like that. I may have to do other testing in the future to find out who the new real champion is. I guess the best way to do it would be to have the wasp against a skull spider. But that's not what we're doing right now. Now for an extremely unfair fight where the skimmer is going to be taking on the four-star Halloween pennant. It's really a warm-up, isn't it? You know, for the Halloween pennant. Anyway, let me set that up. And now let's get going with round number four. And yeah, this one is just not going to be fair at all. Oh, you can't see me. Come over here. Come on. Over here. Come on. Up here. Up here. Okay, and let's go. I'm sure this is going to be a very close fight. I mean, one. what's one extra star, right? It is Dragonfly against Dragonfly, isn't it? And it looks really close. No, it doesn't. Of course, as I said, this is basically a warm-up for the Halloween pennant. So what I'm going to do in the next round is I am just going to summon the Dragon Millipede, and that's how we're going to do it. That way I don't have to rearrange the battle again. Yeah, this isn't going very well for the Skimmer, but the Skimmer had, did do very well in the previous battles. Mind you, it did lose by a hair, to the Skull Spider, but yeah, I mean, that just wasn't a fair fight. The next fight, now the next fight is going to be very interesting. So let's get to that one. And now our fifth and final round, as I am going to summon the Shocking Pink Dragon uh, Millipede, pardon me. All right, so let's do this. Hey, get over here. Hey, right there. All right, there we go. Okay, four star against four star. Who will win? I know the millipede looks really awesome. But it should be a very interesting fight. It does seem as if the, for now, the millipede is winning. As a matter of fact, the millipede seems to be winning significantly. Wow, that actually looks like the last battle, doesn't it? Yikes. Okay, so I think there's a new king of the hill here. Wow, that's actually kind of ugly, isn't it? I don't remember there being such a disparity when the two of them fought in three-star form. Almost a full-star lead there in terms of health. And they did start fighting at the same time, too, so there was no advantage or disadvantage, but wow, just destroying him. Yep, there's a new king of the hill. Wow, I haven't seen a, a slaughter like that in a while. And the new champion is pink. He's also a dragon, so that's okay. All right, so that worked out pretty well for him. Honestly, I figured he was going to win, I just didn't realize it was going to be that much of a destruction. Okay, so going over this, the uh, big surprise for me was the Wasp. I'm wondering 
Should I do a battle between the wasp and the skull spider, given what we saw? Because I am curious as to whether or not the wasp was actually boosted. You know what? I'm curious enough that we're going to have a bonus round. So let me set that up and we'll check out whether or not the emerald cockroach wasp is now stronger than the skull spider. All right, so let's get the bonus round going. I have the skull spider in here, so boom. And let's see how this works out for you. Let's see if we can get our opponent over here. Okay, there we go. And okay, there we go. All right, so let's see here how this goes. Because I'm interested to see whether or not the wasp was actually boosted and is now stronger than the Skull Spider. It doesn't look like it. It does look like the Wasp is going down faster. Very close. Very, very close. But I do believe, yep, edged out. Just like against the skimmer. All right, so let's go over our matches. In the first round, we pitted the skimmer against the wasp. The wasp won. In the second round, we pitted the skimmer against the emperor scorpion. Skimmer did beat the emperor scorpion. And in the third round, we pitted the skimmer against the skull spider. And the skull spider edged it out. Technically twice, but the first one wasn't fair. It wasn't as close the first time, by the way. So it was a better fight the second time. And then, of course, the skimmer was destroyed by the Halloween pennant. And then, of course, the Halloween pennant was destroyed by the shocking pink dragon millipede, the new king of the hill at four stars. And then, of course, in the bonus round, we went back and we tried the skull spider against the emerald wasp. And the Skull Spider won by a hair. It seems to do that. It wins by a hair a lot, doesn't it? I seem to remember that's how it beat the Emperor Scorpion. Anyway, there we go. We have a good idea of where our new creature is in the rankings of strength. But then again, the Skimmer does have the advantage of being a flyer, which means it gets to pick its targets. You got to give it a little bit of an edge there in terms of keeping it on your teams. Yes, we didn't test it against the Orchid Mantis. From experience, the three we did test it against are stronger than the Orchid Mantis, which is the reason I removed one of them when I upgraded the Millipede to four stars. And that one is going to be leaving too. See, at the moment, I actually took one of the Skull Spiders out. That was just temporary, believe me. I'm going to have to figure out who else is going to be leaving uh, that's actually a tricky question, too. I might have to do a little bit of testing on my own. I don't know. Do I just put one skimmer in? I guess I'm going to have to weigh that because there are certain individuals I can't really take out. So we're going to have to see how that works out. I'll have to do some testing, I am guess. Anyway, that's going to be it for now. So the event is still going on, of course. And I actually do have... We're over here. I have a second one right here, skimmer. And it's a two-star. So I'm hoping that I can get uh, another two-star and get the same luck I have been having because I haven't failed with a merge yet. Uh, if I can get two, three stars, I will be done. Anyway, that's it for now. So thank you very much for your attention. I really appreciate it. And play games because games are fun. See ya.